Welcome to I Love Stocks, and happy Tuesday to you. Today's date is April the 14th, 2020, and today I'm going to do a fast little Corona watch list, starting off with the Dow. The Dow was down yesterday over 300 points, and we're going to pull that baby up right now. Let's pull up the yearly chart. We've had a over a, we've come back from a 50% retracement on the Dow, and that was right around in here. We did that last Thursday. Had a little doji, and she went ahead and pulled back, and then we had a nice retracement bounce. So let's pull up the three minute or the 20 day and see if anything tells us on the 20 day, one hour. We had a low down here of 18,213, and ever since then, we've had a pretty nice little bounce up to that retracement level of 2360 on the 20 day, and then she's going ahead and, well, that really ain't going to matter, but that is, we did have kind of a, a high right there, right around that area. She did pull back for about a week and a half, and then we had another breakout last week. Monday was kind of a red day, and I expect we're going to probably retrace this and have a double top and break out of this resistance level of 23,960 area somewhere, maybe a little bit higher. Yeah, let's try to go for that, 2398. And then we got these other two resistances that we got to get going to. But we could pull back to this lower support that we had right here or break this resistance high that we had at 23,536 to a double top area and bring her on up to new highs. So today will be the choice. The Dow market is opening up green today, which is a good sign. That's what the futures are, are telling us. So let's go ahead and pull up the SPY next. SPY had a nice little pullback here. We also had a 50% retracement on the yearly chart from the bottom. So right now we're looking at, I called a little, did a video on this last Sunday, I think Sunday, yeah, Sunday morning, and I called for a support level of right around the 271.16 with a low, low possibility of maybe getting down here. It didn't even try to do that, but we did have a sell off first thing into the market. And I'm going to pull up the one minute and you can see how harsh that sell off was. We come close to hitting my support level. But we've had a nice little trend all the way up. Now I'm going to change this here line and make it a little bit more accurate. Remove. And we're going to put this right here. We're going to draw this. And we're going to play them off the wicks. So right about right about in there. And we're just going to go ahead and continue this on up. So we could pull back to this trend line right here at 277.66. But with the futures going up this morning, I think we're going to try to break this double top at 280.94. Let me change this window up here again. At resistance level of 280.91. And then we'll pull back to 20 day. And we get to that 281.91. We can hit that 281.20. That's what we've got to try to break the resistance level at to get it to new highs. And to find that, I need to go back to a year. So I'm looking right around the 284.67. That's kind of what I'm looking at in a way. 284.67. And if we can break that, we can fill the gap, bring it up to about 288.44. So let's go ahead and pull back this 20-day again. These are going to be your support levels, going to be that low support. Let me magnify this up. Yeah, I think no lower than that 277.16 if it decides to pull back with a double top breakout of 281.20 up to the resistance level of 284. Then we're going to talk about Tesla. Tesla was a great trade. Miss Vegas was all over this yesterday. It had a beautiful chart, as you can tell, on the hour, on the 20-minute hour. Every candle was developing a new, a new base. And it just continued into after hours and into the morning here at 685 high. So the support level is going to be right here, right around 668.91 if it decides to pull back any. But there's a lot of bulls on this, and they're going to try to chase it. Miss, we called a, Miss Vegas called a $700. First she called that $650. We hit that. Then we hit the $700 all the way up to about $710. Those are going to be our next resistance levels, and it can go higher than that. The next one's going to be the QQQ. I played this one on the dip yes 
on the on the pullback got in it scalped it did pretty good on it and we're going to pull up the yearly on the qqq and look at it real fast we do have some resistance levels we can get to the next one's going to be right up here at well after hours we hit 20788 so we're right up here after hours right now we can bring this up to 21107 or she can pull back to those other support levels and let's see if we can find them on the 20 day now nah, we're going to go ahead and go to the three minute we got the first support right here right around the 20560 and that second one's going to be right down here right around the 204 area and then a low support if it does pull back to that 20330 and then the resistance to break is going to be that 207 and let me see if I can find the uh, 207 needs to break a double top and then we're going to pull up the 10 day see if the 10 day can tell me something and that next resistance past that is going to be right there at 210 so low support down here at 203 then we've got this one right here at 204 if this 205 holds 58 we break a double top resistance and bring it on up to 211 the next one we're going to talk about is AMD along with the QQQ AMD can run also had a nice little run yesterday on that red day low support right down here at $50 the first one's going to be the second one's going to be right here at 5094 and that first one's going to be at 5137 with a resistance to break of 52.30 all the way up to about 53.21 and it can go higher than that and along with that one we're going to look at MU MU broke into after hour I mean pre-market here we're at 47.11 47.10 we can get back up to the double top up here at 49.81 or pull back well actually this is a pretty good little support level right here at 45.60 and maybe a low right down at 4470 but I don't know I don't think we're going to get there I think it's going to go ahead and run on up try to break this resistance at 4815 the next one we're going to talk about is Disney Disney I really love under a hundred dollars I had a little support channel that wanted to break we did pull back to it I had a trigger that I wanted to get in at 2999 we hit a low of right around the 99.81 area, 99.80, and then she about to break during the, the morning, and then she went ahead and had a nice little breakout. I think this is under oversold. We need to break a resistance of 109 to bring it past 110, and I think his Disney can go higher, especially once you hear the announcement that Disneyland is open. This thing's going to pop. We'll get it back up to about 130 long. These are kind of long trades if you want to look at them that way, if you get in and at good support. This was an amazing trade yesterday, Netflix. We had that big engulfing candle right out of the gate, and all she did was just run all the way up. And it was very impressive, very impressive. And we got some big targets on this trade right here. We think it can go back to 450, but first we got to see if we can pull back to support. My support level is going to be right here at 391.54. That's, that first one's going to be at 395.89 with a resistance to break of 401.50. Bring it up to 405 and then maybe 410. Facebook's another one I think's under so oversold. We did have a low down here at 150.83. Now we're sitting up here at 178.16. This has a real nice cash flow. They're not worried about money. They don't have to worry about an offering. I think support level is going to be in this channel right here at 176 to 176.86 with a, and that's right there on that 9 EMA on the 20, 20, uh, 10 day 30 minute and then if we break the resistance level of the highs of 178.16 we can bring it up to about 181, 180 and that's going to be Facebook. I think this can go back up higher and hit the highs. Another one is Roku. Roku has increased their subscribers we're definitely bullish on Roku I have a low support down here at 93 I don't think we're gonna see that we had a huge engulfing candle right after hours when the when the news came out if it pulls back no lower than this probably 10109 but I think we're off to the races with Roku right now the bulls are on it we gotta break this 11250 and bring it back to 120 that's gonna be Roku 
Low support right around the 104.47. First one right here at 107.84 with a double top resistance to break here at 109.20. Back to 110 and then maybe on up. Let's go ahead and pull the 20 day up and see if that tells us anything different. A 20 day high, go back to a year. I've got this pretty well marked up. I'm probably going to clear this chart out when I get done here. In fact, I'll do it right now. I'm going to see some different levels here. We've got the 106.83. Bring it up to 113. I think that 114.51 is going to be a good spot. Then you got an equilibrium right here on the yearly chart. I'm going to call that probably a pivot point right there at 118.98. With a low support right down here at 101.07, and then this other one's going to be right here at 104.27. Then we'll pull this up on. So we've got low supports above 100 with that first one right here at 106.83. Right now we're at 108.94. Pre market break of resistance. We could probably break that 110. And if we can break past that 110, we'll take it to 114.51 and that 118.77. And that's going to be Roku. The next one's going to be another one. I was very bullish on this trade. When we were up here right out at right about 100 bucks, right about the time the cocoon has started rolling in. And then it got a little bit of bad news here last week, sold off to a low. And then now we're breaking back up to these new highs. We have a resistance that we needed to break, and that was at 136.94, and I think we did that already, and the long target's going to be at 144.31, and then we've got a little pivot point area in between that channel right around the 140.26. Let's pull up the 20-day chart and get a good gander at it. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? We had a nice little run up here. I mean, it ran to 175. I think the pullback support's going to be right here at 128. 28, 131, 134, 133, 86 with a resistance high of maybe right around the 144 area. And then we're going to look at Piton. Piton's an exercise machine. We're definitely another good cocooning play. We did have a 20 day low here at 1721 with a high of 3299. Strong support right here, right around the $29 area, $30 area, with that second one being here at $31.08, with a resistance to break at $32.99, and maybe run this up to $35, $34.35. But I think it's due for a little pullback and then a retracement bounce and create a new channel like it did right in here. So low support right around that $30 area. Well, that's it for the watch list for today. Miss Vegas will be in the room calling out these numbers like she's been doing she's been doing a wonderful job please subscribe to our stock twitch channel as you notice i pulled up that page and i hit that little icon there that takes you straight to twitter hit that follow button miss vegas is posting alerts in here we also have our stock twitch pages on here pinterest youtube channel please subscribe ring that bell and hit that like button it really means a lot to us we also have a little store right here, and if you ever want to join our chat room, we have all the instructions on how to get into the room right here. We offer a seven-day trial, and just follow the, the, the instructions on how to join the server, and see if you like the room or not. But this is I Love Stocks, and we wish everybody a great day. April 14th, 2020. Thank you.